Howdy, y'all. I'm a little early today. I might have things to do, um, and I actually do have a lot to do. And I, one of the reasons that uh, these guitars um, and this one, this one is Lion by Washburn. And this one is actually a super fun little guitar. Um, the, it, uh, it, it's like smaller than regular strats, uh, but the body, I mean, the, the scale length is all the same. Um, but uh, the body is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit lighter. Um, super cool that the truss rod adjustment is down here. And it's, it's not, you know, um, a, an Allen wrench thing. It's, it's a serious, you know, you need a tool. Um, I don't know why. I could have swore I had to, I put this off on the side and, and I had put it up on a chair and I could have swore it was because I needed to do some work on it and I could have swore it was because the neck just needed a little bit of that truss rod adjustment. I got my straight edge out again and it's fine. I mean, seriously fine. I mean, it's like it's even just slightly underbowed so that you know ever they, they say that if you if it's going to be anyway just slightly underbowed because that makes it a little bit more playable and it is just ever so slightly underbowed and i'm like well what the heck was my problem and so i i don't know if these are new strings or just um on weird but the only problem i found with it so far is that uh it's going out of tune a little bit too much yeah i don't know if it's the strings or if it's the 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 trim I, it's almost like this thing was brand new and nobody ever used the trim so it's the trim hasn't even been broken in yet that that's what i'm saying um so you know And I missed some some stuff about uh, yesterday that I did want to talk about. Oh, commercial first. I apologize. If you could like, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking for a thousand subscribers, so I'd like to give away a guitar. Then did I do my best infomercial voice? Anyway, that's it. That's the commercial. That's all I got um, for a commercial. Anyway, and uh, so if you could hit that subscribe button, that'd be awesome. That's the point I was trying to get across. Anyways, um, but from yesterday, what I forgot some stuff. Of course, I did because. Uh, somebody had said something about, and I, I just had to look at myself um, to, to remind myself because uh, the thing was, the comment that was made was that I sure say y'all a lot for somebody from the north. And uh, I was born and raised in New Jersey. And the thing about being born, born and raised in New Jersey is, first of all, hopefully, I, I, please tell me you don't really know that I'm from New Jersey from my accent. I've been working on it my entire life. Uh, and the other thing is, when you work on it, when you work on why people talk the way they do because it's just the way you talk but then you start listening to people and one of the things that i always never understood was use guys use you i realize use is the plural of you in new jersey but that never made any sense to me and if you look at the contraction y'all y'all is an actual contraction so you know english is an evolving language and if we really want to make words contractions they made ain't a contraction so you know that one got used so much that it was made an actual word and put in a dictionary well guess what i think y'all is a perfect example of a word that should be because it just makes sense you all it makes perfect sense and it is an actual contraction that's why I use that, because to me, it just makes perfect sense. Um, so that was what I wanted to say about, about that, that for, for that comment. Thank you for the comment. Hopefully, I don't sound like I'm kind of from anywhere. That's, that's kind of the point. Although, when I was a kid, I always, uh, I always wanted to... I, 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 nobody ever said that. I ever, my whole life, everybody said that I can't sing and I agree with them. But, uh, when I was a kid, one of the things that stuck in my brain was, so, okay, all these people from the UK and Great Britain, it seems to me like all they have to do is get an American accent and then they, they call it singing. No matter how bad they are, it's still singing. They lose their accent. Hmm. If I had a British accent, then people would know I was singing when I sounded American. I always wished I say I could have a British accent, but you know, too late, too bad, so sad. You were born and raised in New Jersey, and ain't nobody gonna believe that you have a British accent. But you know, practice those two, and you know, then I found out that that they have accents just like the the United States, and it's like, whoa, well, what is it? Is it Cockney? Is it, you know, oh my God, you're kidding me! I have to learn different British accents to oh, so you know. Anyways. That's my uh, little rant on that, uh, on, on the y'all thing. But, uh, 
But yeah, I mean, and one of the things about the, the these guitars, that was the other thing I wanted to mention. The the ones, the, the strange ones that I'm pulling out right now is because I also, I need to rearrange my space here. My, my space was set up so that it, it is really divided right now. And on that side is where I should be doing office work. I should be doing my corporate work that I haven't done in I don't even know how long now. And it might have been over a year, but it might not have been. I really have no idea when the last time I worked was. It could have been at the beginning of this year, but it could have been at the beginning of last year. I know I failed at the beginning of a year, but I'm not sure what year. And that is kind of amazing and strange all at the same time, just because it's like, it's amazing that I don't remember because it's like, thank you for getting me out of that. But um, maybe I should have more of a brain and maybe I should know like timelines and stuff. People might want to know sometime. So um, that's the strange part. It's like, I just have no clue, but I also don't really care. It's kind of like quitting smoking. I know I did. When did I? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. It was the last time I I could tell you when. It was right before they uh, locked the back door up at Phillips in Bothell um, and that we couldn't go out the back door to smoke anymore. I got the flu right before that. And when I got back, the door was locked. And I was like, well, why the hell do I go down there anyway? So I just started not smoking at work. And then I started not smoking when I left. Then I started not smoking when I got home and I quit when I got the flu and I, I didn't smoke for two days. And I, I remember that smoking physically leaves your body in two days. So I was like, well, the rest of it is me being an asshole for a couple of weeks. And yeah, they told me that it worked, but they said it was for a good cause. So they let it go. Um, so I thank them for that too. Um, I've been rambling for a long time. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the, the line by Washburn. Um, it's a great little guitar. Um, and yeah, these things, the Strat ones, I really don't like so much. So any of the Strat ones you see here are completely open. If anybody wants one, let me know. We can work something out and, you know, make a deal or something. And, uh, you know, anything's possible. Um, if you see something you like, let me know. Because the Strat ones, definitely, I, I, I definitely don't really want to keep very much. I don't like Strat ones very much. Uh, I'll probably keep one or two, but the rest of them, I have a plethora of them around here. Um, and uh, I don't really play them, and it's kind of a shame they should be heard. So, uh, you know, anyways, that's it. That's all I got for today. I hope you all are always having a great day. As you can see, we're on the uh, Go Yankees because um, it's a winner go home game today. Uh, we're back in the Bronx. <clears throat> Gonna get some mojo. I pulled out the number two. Uh, yes, I got Jeter on, on my back, and uh, we, needed, we need some mojo, and Jeter had the mojo. So, Let's go Yankees. Always look up. He's there for you. I will see you then. Peace.